welcome to our video where we will compare the two leading DeFi protocols, Chainlink and API3. Chainlink is an Oracle's network that enables smart contracts to securely access data and activity off the blockchain. API3, on the other hand, is a protocol that allows developers to build and monetize APIs on the blockchain. Chainlink and API3 both aim to make data and services accessible on the blockchain. However, they go different ways. Chainlink provides a network of oracles that bring real-world data onto the blockchain. API3, on the other hand, allows developers to create APIs on the blockchain that can be consumed directly by dApp developers. A strength of Chainlink is the high level of security guaranteed by the network of oracles. Because each oracle operates independently, it can be more difficult to manipulate or trick the network. However, one downside is that Chainlink can be a bit more complex to deploy. A strength of API3 is its simplicity for developers, allowing them to easily create and consume APIs. However, one downside is that it is less secure than Chainlink as it does not have a network of oracles. Chainlink is used in many areas where secure data transmission and processing is required. API3, on the other hand, is mainly used in the development of dApps and DeFi applications. A successful project based on Chainlink is the Uniswap platform, a leading DeFi exchange. Data on prices and liquidity from Chainlink oracles is provided here. A successful project based on API3 is Ocean Protocol, a data marketplace that uses API3 APIs to provide data and services on the blockchain. Chainlink is a DeFi protocol known for its secure and reliable data oracles. Chainlink's token economy is based on its token link, which serves as fuel to operate the network. Link tokens are paid by users as a fee to access data and services. This creates strong demand for Link as it is essential to the operation of the network. This has meant that the potential for the Link price to rise is high, especially if demand and adoption of the protocol continues to be strong. API3 is a protocol that allows developers to provide secure and reliable APIs for use in dApps and DeFi applications. API3's token economy is based on its token API, which serves as fuel to run the network. API tokens are paid by users as a fee to access data and services. This creates a strong demand for API as it is essential for the network to operate. This has meant that the potential for an API price spike is high, especially if demand and adoption of the protocol continues to be strong. On the surface, Chainlink and API3 appear to work similarly. But you know what they say, the devil is in the details. A Chainlink data feed accepts inputs from multiple Oracle nodes and aggregates all the results into a single data point that is delivered to smart contracts. API3 does the same but in a more decentralized manner. While the majority of Chainlink oracles, third-party oracles, are operated by entities that license data from Web2 providers, API3's first-party oracles are run by Web2 providers themselves via an easy-to-deploy solution called AirNode. This has three major benefits. Lowering costs, since API3 oracles don't have to pay another data provider. Reducing attack surfaces by cutting out the middleman. Leveraging the trustworthiness of real-world businesses that sell APIs, instead of anonymous crypto-native oracles. Bringing transparency into the data sources that oracles use. In Chainlink's defense, they also allow data providers to run their own nodes. What's more, not all data providers want to run their own nodes, opting to sell their data to oracle nodes instead. Chainlink also has an origin signed feature that allows oracles to prove where their data came from. It's not clear, however, how many oracles make use of it. Chainlink representatives have also criticized API3 in the past by claiming that their air nodes rely on the infrastructure provider Infura, which acts as a central point of failure for their oracle network. But API3 later rebutted by saying that their air nodes use multiple multiple infrastructure providers simultaneously, making it resistant to outages. 
One of the biggest differences between Chainlink and API3 is that the former has centralized governance whereas the latter has decentralized governance. While anyone can technically apply to become a Chainlink Oracle node, Chainlink's core team has final say over the matter. API3, on the other hand, is governed by a DAO of API3 token holders that direct the project and how funds are used. Not content with simply giving token holders voting rights, API3's DAO also has community members vet each API provider and data feed for accuracy, trustworthiness, and reliability. Chainlink has a near monopoly on smart contract data feeds, with $38 billion in total value secured across 1,320 projects. Meanwhile, API3 is not even one-tenth the size of Chainlink's market cap. There are really two ways to view this value gap, either API3 doesn't stand a chance at gaining significant market share, or API3 has the potential to 50x in the next bull cycle. At the end of the day though, both projects are pushing for decentralized data delivery, just to varying degrees. Thanks for watching, please leave a comment who could rise more in the next bull run, Chainlink or API3? If you liked the video, please subscribe and like and join our free telegram group. Until next time.